what we do, our bread and butter is based in the scientific method. And just briefly, what, what is the scientific method? People often ask, you know, what, what is it do you mean when you say you follow the science and you're using the scientific method? Well, the scientific method differs from um, the way that some people see the world insofar as we test an observation and a question as a hypothesis. So I might see a phenomenon, have a question about it, I develop a hypothesis about what's going on, and then I do some kind of an experiment or an analysis to test if that hypothesis might be true, and I there, therefore from that draw a conclusion. And that conclusion or result is what we use to make recommendations. So to give you a concrete example, um, in the context of COVID, you might make the observation that, gee, masks have been protective to people in the healthcare setting. I wonder if they might help protect people in the community setting. And so you've observed in the hospital setting, masks are protective. You question whether they might work in the community. And we raise the hypothesis, does a mask protect a person in the community? Then you have to go about designing an experiment or a method to assess what was the potential benefit or harm to somebody of wearing a mask and how can I say that with some level of assurity? And that's what my colleagues may talk about in greater detail later. I conduct the analysis, I come to a finding, and then I turn that finding into a recommendation in the case of masks that in general, we find evidence that they are protective against getting COVID-19 in the community and we recommend that persons wear them. So the scientific method differs from just random statements insofar as we rigorously test ideas and generate findings using established methods um, that match what goes on in the real world.